Hello guys and welcome, this is me Alex and welcome to part part two, sorry, of my Let's Learn Lego Jurassic World. Last time I played the prologue, which I believe is that stone over there in the corner, next to the Jurassic World sign. And then you've got the Jurassic Park sign, and I have no idea where that stone is. But we're not going to bother going to look at it. Okay, as we got here in the last episode, I was talking about like we unlock Alan Grant Montana, probably a lot of normal version. Because if you look at it, it says Alan Grant, then in brackets Montana. If I pause it, it says it says the character is Alan Grant, not Alan Grant brackets Montana. Same with Ellie Sat. Same with Ellie Sattler. So it says Ellie Sattler, not Ellie Sattler Montana. And um. She doesn't have the helmet. I'm going to play as this Donald Gianaro, the lawyer. Good morning, sir. I have no idea. Madam, welcome to Jurassic Park. You'll Thank find you. find a vehicle you can take to the visitor center on the road over there. Thank you. I'm going to jump into the top one. Okay. Let's drive. Nope. I've driven before, but I immediately reversed into the other car. <laughs> that should be a mega crash, and then that crashes into the sea. Okay, let's jump out. John Hammond. No, I want to play John Hammond. If you need spares, get them from storage, not from one of the control panels. Okay. Of course, you need Alan Grant sir. So if you do, so if I dig up this. Then I put this and I build this. Did you have that can do this? Of course. Do you want Hammond? Sorry, that was glitchy. Is it free I free? Zero zero. Oh. Okay. There goes the gates. And just hop into your vehicle. Where's your vehicle? All the way back there. Forget about them. We'll just continue on. Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. Let's shut you down, John. <laughs> Forming's been extinct for the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a hundred percent. Here's the classic Brachiosaurus thing. It's it's a dinosaur. It's true. They will make a fortune of this place. How fast are they? Well, we clocked the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. T-Rex? Mm -hmm. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again. <gasps> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Grant. My dear Dr. Grant. Welcome to Jurassic Park. you do this? Show you. Oh, cool. The dinosaur's actually interacting. <laughs> okay. So if we go up to here. <laughs> what's it? Yeah. Hop into here. Yeah. Wrong way. It goes this way. Go down here. Please don't be any more interferences. Yes, Kato. Oh, no, it's not. Right. Who are we going to have this time? Ellie Sattler with a super jump ability. I did see that on the ground, to be fair. That's how I knew we needed Ellie Sattler. I'm glad Ellie Sattler jumped in the car with us. So, if we just make this. I think it's actually quite nice that, like, we 
get a bit of gameplay before we actually get to the next level. I think that's actually quite cool. You get like some puzzles and you get the classic scene of Welcome to Jurassic Park. I think that's actually quite a good idea. I'm sorry, but that was a blue. And I can't resist having a blue. As you know, there's going to be times two, times three, times four, times times two, times four, times eight, times ten. And that helps you get a um, characters. So that's probably the most important thing, as well as having fun, of course, and having and learning the storyline. Meh, I've already started walking. I'll continue on. I guess I'm gonna just continue on down here. Ah, oh, the visitor centre. Is it still in construction or something? Oh look, it's the line. Oh man, it is great. Especially if you don't like goats. <laughs> they do have those creepy weird eyes. I really don't know who said that because the speech marbles didn't appear on top of their heads. They're going to own Hashington. You'll find a great dino fat just From down there. From fossil evidence, we, know, like, we now know Gallimus should have feathers Jurassic World genetics are. Are working hard to refine the extinction process to when fully grown, a, a, a Kelisaurus weights are much as sick tons and it's built close to the ground with a low centre of gravity and kilo The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. <coughs> I don't think it's that advanced. Otherwise, why would your fossil your skeletons keep on falling down? Why don't you all sit down? Just one drop of blood contains billions of strands of DNA. The building blocks of life. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. Can I Oh. Good day, sir. Perfect timing. Hey, I'm from the first creature that comes in contact with that. <laughs> so I'm kind of trying to tempt this. Uh, it's not possible. This is one thing the history of evolution has taught us. It's that life uh, finds a way. What species is this? Uh, it's a velociraptor. <laughs> They're lethal eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. <laughs> they remember. Feeding time. All right, let's feed these overgrown lizards then. I'm sorry guys about if you heard that because the car just beeped outside. I'm really sorry if you heard that. So we've got Robert Muldoon and Dino Handler Vic. I have no idea why it's so specific that this guy's called Vic. Even though this guy's not a main character in the film and you don't I don't actually even know if you let these ones. Please destroy this. And then we can build this or whatever this is. Uh, I guess we're going to build where we're, where we're going to trap Daisy. Yeah, I'm going to. Now we just add cap. Yeah, come on over, Daisy. Um. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel? As you can see, hand, dinosaur handler Vic does have a speech bubble when they're talking. When he's talking. So I think that might be why, as I said in the last ep episode. Oh, oh, I just noticed. Of course, we're in the rapture enclosure. But of course, I wonder if we, if I come down here, 
then you come out here it's cool of things the same apart from like the security cameras You've got the powered up generator and the ladder and everything that is actually quite cool apart from the cranes now in the way of the rats enclosure <coughs> okay so we're gonna I tried to press two own. Zero zero five. Well, it's all the codes just going to be zero zero five before you want to go three. It's been a while since I've played this game last. Quite a while, actually. Dino Handler Vic. If I charge this up. Okay, let me charge this up. Taking you for a meal. Sorta. Of. Really? So she is called Daisy. Thought so. This is gonna teach. This is probably going to be like a thing where it like a teeth. Yeah, it's going to teach you how to ride other animals. So that's pretty much the same as riding a um, vehicle. Fresh beef, huh? Boy, those raptors eat better than I do. Must operate the crane. My injuries are too severe. <laughs> so it's just it's worse than stubbing your toe. That's not much. Some of your toes don't hurt that much. That you can't move at all. You gotta get up and operate the crane. Okay, so let's move it over. That's some poo in the background. I think that's, that was poo in the background. <laughs> bon and in goes the cow. Bon appetit. How are they doing? Feeding them. The acids are okay. <laughs> Shorthand is the butterfly. The butterfly can flap its wings in Peking and Central Park you get rain and stay essential. Look at this. See? See? I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly suddenly jump out of a moving vehicle. Alan. Don't be scared. Come on. It's okay. She's sick. <laughs> I have to insist that we get moving. You know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. Yes, uh, we know they're toxic, but the animals don't eat them. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay, so it might be the worst toxic lilac or whatever it was called. Okay. At least that was incredibly useful. I love how it just goes. 
I'm just gonna stand up straight for you so you can climb it. So you can climb me, sorry, not it. Okay, so I still can't believe I actually just went down there. At least now that Ellie Sap has got to climb it. That'll save us. At least we know that Ellie Sap is going to climb it. Because it'll be a bit of a thing. I hope, sorry. There's no trace of lilac berries. Okay. Well, I guess we go over to her. Alright, so she's suffering from meliotoxicity. Hey, did that taste nice, Sarah? Oh, uh, if you ever meet my daughter, don't tell her I named a six ton dinosaur after her. Okay, I will do. I'm gonna have to wash my hands. I'm gonna have to wash my hands after. So if I move over to here, I'll, I'll have spotted something else that could. Yep, I think that will lead to something else. These are dilated. Pupils are dilated. What does that mean? Sorry, what's the new character? Jerry Harding. That's the new character, Jerry Harding. Okay, so if we go bong, bong, bong. Okay, if we shoot this with his tranquilizer gun. In case you're wondering about trank about the fact that I'm using a gun. It's a tranquilizer gun. Just to let you know. <coughs> okay. No, no, no! Okay. So I grab this. That looks like lilac berries. Why are you tracing lilac berries? Is that? No, I'm finding blue berries. And why do I have footprints? I believe we're looking for a apple, I believe. Let's just wait for this to glide. Watch this, and there you go. It falls down. Let's go cure the dinosaur, hopefully. Hopefully we won't need to run it through like some more droppings. Cause that was just great. It's okay. I'm impressed, Dr. Sattler. She's looking right as rain again. Speaking of which, we should get back to the visitor center before the storm catches us. Okay. What's this? Maybe I can help. The car! There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. Not far to the visit. Okay, so it's not say. far. Fancy that dino chances of balancing on the trunk. We better make another way over for her. Really? I've got to build a thing just so I can get on. Really, that's just amazing. Oh, and now it's turned dark. I wonder. Yep, yeah, it's just dark the entire time. Gonna be all nice and silent the second you get on there. Oh, right, there is a bridge goes. here. Hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe this should help you. Maybe the Triceratops bridge should also be a Jerry Harding bridge. Okay, so let's go back here. If I charge a bit, that's and I'll go back and charge it. There's that way. Uh, that's probably for a mini kit. I'm not after mini kits. I'll do mini kits as like another set, but a hundred percent complete after I finish the storyline. So, Jerry, 
Harding. Okay, so let's open this. Y A X zero zero five. That is new. Maybe the old pa passwords were zero zero five, not zero zero three or five. Okay. Oh, just there's Jerry Harding as I go through here. Man, there's supposed to be someone on duty here to release the ladder to that walkway. But you know, I can't blame him for wanting to get out of this weather. Yeah, true. And I guess they took the car with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. Uh, my well, guess is fast. Fence, we'll be back at the visitor center in no time. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Everything's relying on Dr. Sattler. Not Jerry Harding. Because Jerry Harding isn't a main character. Okay. Well, he is a main character. He's a character. Let's leave it at that. Let's just leave it at that. No. Oh, I hate when it does that. It just brings you off. That's the worst thing about these slide things. Okay, so that's just properly. That's why. Fourth time's a charm. Fifth time's a charm. Or maybe it's sixth time. Or maybe it's seven times. Eight times. Oh, yeah. Yes, it was the ninth time. T nearly ten attempts to do one puzzle. Okay. Poop investigating. Okay. Where's the crank off the gate winch gone? I bet some greedy dino ate it. Come on, give it back. I thought that was a ladder. They must have dispatched that ladder when they had to get out of this of the weather. So we've actually got to power it up to get to position. That's just going to go down. Yeah, we need a triceratops through here. And then we can turn around and click this. Oh, the amber. I think... This way. We can get to the visitor center through that hole. I don't think you can, um, get, um, through... I don't think you can avoid getting that, that dino DNA. Oh. Oh. How many times we needed locking mechanisms on the vehicle Nothing doors? Right, Item 151 on today's glitch list. <coughs> we have all the problems of a major theme park and a major zoo when the computers aren't even on their feet yet. Dennis, <coughs> our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this job? Quiet, all of you. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Remember, viable embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. 7 o'clock, these dock. And there's Dennis Nedridge planning a sneak escape. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Level complete, free plan unlocked. Sixty eight. Sixty nine, exactly sixty nine. No, unfortunately not. Only sixty seven. But I think that's the best. I think that's a new record. Sixty seven's the record to beat. So if I knocked Alan Grant, what's I? Ellie Sattler. Jerry Harding. Dennis Nedry, available for purchase. Dor Gianaro, available for purchase. Indian Lab Technician, available for purchase. 
Triceratops unlocked. This is where it gets cool because you can have like dinosaurs. I believe there's 20 there, one for each level. I should have done it so when you free roam around you get dinosaurs. Do you know? Okay, it does make sense to have them in missions. So, here we are. So we've got the... We've got the group that are heading towards the... Tyrannosaurus paddock. Over there. Then you've got... Another group. Back at the visitor centre. Ian, welcome. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video here, and I hope you enjoyed, and part 3 will be coming pretty soon, I hope. I'll see you all later. Bye!